Good morning, or yeah. Good morning. <laughs> I wasn't sure how long the sermon went. Um, <laughs> um, I'm here to represent Crockett Elementary School and our work there. Uh, a few years ago, I think it was before the pandemic, uh, Pam Engler was volunteering there. Someone here had children that went to school there. And so when Brian ISD said, well, you know, we want to do an initiative where churches and schools partner. Well, our natural choice was Crockett Elementary School. So I was excited when I heard about this, so I ran to Pam and said, can I help? And <laughs> she said, come along. And it's been wonderful. Um, when we went to talk to the principal, the thing that surprised us, though, was that she says, we don't really need help with the kids because we have the university here, and they're all over the place reading to kids and that kind of thing, but our teachers need support. And me being a former teacher, I was like, uh-huh, yeah, okay, we can do this. And so one of the first things we did was a, um, on a January end service day, we did a soup lunch for the teachers and uh, someone brought a box of oops, sorry. someone brought a box of uh, uh, school supplies, and so the teachers had lunch. They got to visit, and then they ran over to the box of school supplies and grabbed what they wanted. And it was wonderful. It was wonderful to see them do that. Of course, then the pandemic hit, and what we started doing then was making little treat bags for the teachers. So every holiday they would have a little something to stick in their desk so when the kids go to recess they could have a little snack or something like that. And they love it. And we always kind of did a theme, had a sign for them, and always said that, you know, we at Friends love you. And it, I think we've, we've kind of developed a relationship, not personally face to face, but through just no, them knowing that we're here. Um, but one of our biggest projects that started two years ago, and this was for the kids, is our free book fair. I'm sure you've heard about that. And it has become a favorite with the teachers, with the students, and everybody who volunteers. And it's just, it, there's nothing like it to see these children looking for books they want and uh, the joy in their faces. Um, Pete the Cat is popular. Uh, Goosebumps is popular. There are a lot of books that, that they just love. And they say the funniest things to you and the saddest things to you. Like one little boy said, oh, I don't have any money for this. And we said, you don't have to. It's okay. And you get to take it home and put your name in it and it's yours. And they're just, wow, can't believe it. And another one, this is my favorite. This little girl comes up to me and she goes, she's about five, kindergarten. And she looks at me and says, do you have any comedy? <laughs> and I said, well, yes, we do have some very funny books. Can I help you find one? And she goes, or, or scary. I, I'll, take, I'll take either. And I was like, how old are you again? Anyway, so it's just a lot of fun. And it's fun with the volunteers. So first of all, I'd like to thank everybody who has donated candy, who has donated books, who has donated to the cause. I thank the volunteers who have gone with us to sort books, to put candy in bags, to um, be at the school and help, uh, to serve soup. That was a lot of fun. I want to do that again. So how can you help? And who can help? Anybody can help. That's what's nice about it. You can help put, when we gather to put the bags together, help us put the bags together. When we gather to sort books, we could sort books. If we do a soup kitchen, a soup kitchen, sorry, a soup lunch again, help us make soup. So there are a lot of opportunities, and it's so rewarding. The teachers love it, and they're happy. The staff is very pleased with it, and uh, of course the children love their special book fair. So join us at Crockett, and you'll have a lot of joy. Thank you.